I don't know. I think honestly though, I think you should turn down the volume a little bit. It was actually kind of hard to hear you talk. Game. Yeah, the game volume. It was hard to hear you talk over the game. Because the game volume should be there, but it shouldn't be super loud. It shouldn't be almost equal to our voices. Okay. My name is Anton. Oh, did we name? start it again? Yes, we did. Oh, oops. <laughs> Oi! I see an annoying girl running toward me. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today. But it just kind of works out because we've known each other for so long. Wow, Anthony, you're a jerk. <laughs> we used to walk to school together on days like this. But starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase me after me like this, I almost, I almost feel better off running away. <laughs> wow, you're a dick. <laughs> yes, I am. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. <laughs> <laughs> I overstepped again! <laughs> okay, I won't do a voice. But I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. <laughs> you say that you say that like you're thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Anta. <laughs> it kinda works out, Anta. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think, to think we're a couple or something. I'm fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> <laughs> As we draw near. By the way, Anton. <laughs> <laughs> Anthon. Is it Anthon or Anthon? It should be. Anthon. It be Anthon. Right? Anthon. Yeah. Have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already. I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like me. Getting by and you, Kevin. <laughs> Just getting <laughs> by on the say, average like, on like my free time on games and anime. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Yeah, that I was worried you wouldn't have <laughs> any skills to socialize. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. Whatever. And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. <laughs> Whatever, bitch. <laughs> you trust me, right? No. Dang, so harsh. <laughs> don't make me keep worrying about you. Yeah, don't worry her, man. Hi, hi. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will, at will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Why? <laughs> I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. Clubs. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Hello? Sayori? I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Creeper! Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... Aw, oh, look at the blush. <laughs> know what? Well, that you can come to my club. You had a club. I don't know about it. <laughs> Sayori. Yeah? Oh, he does know about it. I do know about it. There's no way I'm going to your club. <laughs> Ijiwari. <laughs> Sayori is vice president of the literature club. <laughs> Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. Because she's a baka. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought- Dude, isn't that the way I talk? I totally talk like that. 
her or me? Or the no, character? that. That line right there. I'm 99% oh. sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's kind of true, actually. I'm 99% sure. She only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Actually, yeah. <laughs> Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. <laughs> Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayuri is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. <laughs> I let out a long sigh. <sighs> Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go! By the way, I, I don't know if it's. Are you like moving while you're talking? Because I feel like your audio is cutting in and out. Kinda. Or maybe it's just Skype. No, it might be me. Oh, okay. okay. Okay, I'll try not to. <laughs> and thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for oh my, my soul for <laughs> That sounds like me. <laughs> that sounds like you. That sounds like all of us. <laughs> and dejectedly followed, follow. Oh yeah, follow. So I already across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, so full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. <laughs> eh, glance around the room. Girl one, welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Saori always says nice things about you. Seriously, you brought a boy. Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Anton, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. God damn it, Kevin. I'm sorry, go continue. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. S sorry. Natsuki. <laughs> the girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She is also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back toward the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. D don't say things like that. <laughs> Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Uh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Anton. <laughs> what? Oh, Monica's found sweet. <laughs> we do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. You know, thick thighs. Basically, completely out of my league. So, having her smile at me so generally feels a little... Y you too, Monica. <laughs> Come sit down, Anton. We made room for you at the table. So you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I got a little too excited. <laughs> then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few discs arranged to form a table. As I already mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Saori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrap tray and Yuri opens a closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Ja -ja <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Oh my Ooh. god, you're eating cats! Yes! The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. Aww. Kawaii! I had no <laughs> idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. Just try and take one. 
Sarah grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious! Sarah talks with her from mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers looking for the best angle to take a bite. Interesting. <laughs> Very That's so true though. Very I mean, who does it? <laughs> Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. <laughs> is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. But why are you thinking me? It's, it's not like I... <laughs> Haven't I heard this somewhere before? <laughs> I made them for you or anything. It? Uh, I thought you technically did. Sayuri said... Well, maybe. <laughs> but not for y you know, you know you! Baka. <laughs> alright, alright. <laughs> My bad. I gave up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismissed the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I, I guess? <laughs> 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 Don't let yourself get intimidated. <laughs> Yuri's just trying to impress you. <laughs> eh? S -s <laughs> Insulted. Yuri looks over. I, I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri finally smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Saudi. <laughs> well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Saudi seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Ah, <laughs> well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to pr prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. Nice. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Aww. Monica really is a great leader. Hmm. <laughs> then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You can put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that gra doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events, like the festival, that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it. <laughs> everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they're all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Anthony. What kind of... what kinds of things do you like to read? Uh... <laughs> manga! <laughs> Considering how little I read these past few like years. Hmm? I was like, yeah, what do you like to read, Anthony? <laughs> manga! <laughs> <laughs> I don't really have a good way of answering that. Oh! Manga! <laughs> <laughs> quietly to myself half joking yeah did you know that this game has like some audio receptors so here's everything we're talking about no, I'm just kidding. That would be <laughs> creepy. you know what? okay i'll say it later. anyways natsuki's head suddenly perks up it looks like she wants to say something but she keeps quiet then not much of a reader i guess well that can change what am i saying i spoke without thinking after seeing yuri sad smile anyway what about you yuri well let's see Yuri chases the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex... Jim. <laughs> Fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. 
and telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But, you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Hmm... Why does this line sound very ominous to me? Anyways... Anyway, I've been reading a lot of- oh my! <laughs> horror lately. Did not expect horror. Uh, I read a horror book once. I just really aggressive thing I can relate to at the minimum level. At this rate, Yudi might as well be having a conversation with the rock. Really? I would have expected that, Yudi. For someone as gentle as you. Hmm. I guess you could say that. <laughs> but if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Very true, but scary. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Asuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Hmm? 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 Never mind. Hmm? Hmm. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What? Oh, that's why she looked at me. What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! <laughs> and give that back! <laughs> fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Oh my. <laughs> oh my. Saori slides up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh? Well, I guess sometimes... Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no! That's key averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, uh, not a very confident writer yet? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Like Kevin and his nom- uh, your light novel. <laughs> that you're kind of working on. <laughs> right, Kevin? <laughs> Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Aw, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Hmm? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, um, hmm. Yeah, let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Anta? Sure. Hold on. There's still one problem. Hmm? What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Saudi may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. Dang, dude. I can't believe you actually, like, said it. <laughs> I still have other clubs to look at, and, um... Dang, <laughs> look at all their eyes. I know! Wow, you're a jerk! Losing my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, but, uh, I'm sorry, I thought. <laughs> dude, sorry. you're such a heartbreak. You <laughs> broke the hearts of four girls all at once, dude. Y you all. I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is a price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. Hey! One by one, the girl's eyes light up. <sighs> <laughs> yes, I'm so happy! Oh my. 
she wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey, hey! You really did scare me for a moment. Why does everything she says relate to some kind of... Okay, whatever. If you really just came for the cup cupcakes, I would be super pissed. <laughs> then that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so that we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Antan, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. How ex- <laughs> <laughs> They all do this! I know! Oh my god. It, yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Judy and Ezra clean up their food. Hey, Anthem, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right. Sayori and I never walk home together anymore. Sure, might as well. Why? <laughs> With that, the two of us depart. Oh, oh man. My mind wanders back and forth. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Ooh. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Mm. Oh, you chose Yuri. Yeah, I chose Yuri. Yuri is great. <laughs> oh yeah, she's she's mine. All right, you gotta you gotta step off. All right. <laughs> Who did Victor choose? Has Victor chosen anybody? Um, I think so. I think he likes Monica. <laughs> so I'm left with these two. Yeah, I mean you don't have to. It's up to you. Plus, uh, it'll actually be kind of hard to to. Uh, go after one girl if you don't know what each one of them likes yet. You'll um, figure it out over time. But, I see. So but it, it is. It, it's harder. To, it's. It's not like straightforward. You gotta. At least <sighs> for this next part, you'll see what I mean. This doesn't. Okay. <laughs> this is interesting. <laughs> we'll see. Will I really be happy? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow, to grow closer to one of these girls. Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Hey, all right, hold on a second, because Victor's ready now. Okay. Oh God, I am actually gonna write. Yeah, hit okay, and then let's go ahead and save it for now. So save it. Okay. Um, I I would stop this recording for now and check how the audio sounds. Sure. And then, well, I, I'll add Victor. Add Victor on Skype, and I'll add him to the call. Okay. Stopping the recording. <laughs> <laughs>